Greetings lovelies, hi it's Emmy. welcome back to another What You Eaten. Today I'll be doing this candy, Horadakita. As some of you may know, Horadakita is a series done by a company called Korisu. And so they are very, very simple like DIY candies. I'll put links down below to some of the other ones I've done with this series if you've missed those before. So this one is Mitarashi Dango. For those of you that don't know what dango is, dango is related to mochi. It's kind of this chewy kind of rice cake. And in dango form, it's usually skewered onto a stick. And in this case, covered with a sauce called mitarashi, which is a kind of sweet and salty soy sauce syrup that is placed on the dango balls like that. So this one looks like it's like a candy version. The weather here is gorgeous. It's like early summer. feels a little bit like spring. So we just got back from the park. We, meaning my son and I, he's actually taking a nap. Whenever I film these videos, it's when he's napping. We spent all morning at the park playing and hanging out. And while I was there, one of my favorite things to do while I'm at the park is listen to audiobooks. So I get my audiobooks from audible.com. They're a really great company. They're owned by amazon.com. And they have over 150,000 different kinds of audiobooks and lectures and things to listen to. This is the book that I'm in the midst of right now. It's Think Like a Freak, and it's written by Stephen Dubner and Stephen Levitt, the authors of Freakonomics and Super Freakonomics. But this book is really, really great. It's more about fostering curious thinking, which is totally right up my alley. So you can go to audible.com slash Emmy and support my channel and get yourself a free book. You can get this book or any book that you're interested in, actually. And yeah, get yourself a free audiobook. And, you know, if you find yourself at the park, then you've got something to do. <laughs> So let's get back to our regular scheduled programming. All right, so here it is. Let's open it up. And that's what it looks like inside. It looks like it comes with six dongle balls, the mitarashi sauce, and one toothpick. So the first thing we're going to do is just skewer the dongle balls onto the toothpick. A little bit crumbly in texture. I just broke my toothpick. Alas. So we're gonna have two on there. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm just going to pour it over the dongle like this. And it's a very thick glaze, more like a syrup. There it is. Very glossy and shiny. Let's give it a taste. This reminds me a little bit of the odangu san kit where you make the dongle yourself. But of course, this is much simpler. So let's give that a taste. It smells pretty good. It smells very sweet, slightly soy saucy. Let's give that a taste. Is the lucky moss? Hmm. Wow. Hmm. I don't think I like that very much. The dongle itself has kind of a slight bubblegummy flavor to it. It's crumbly in texture and a little bit chewy. The mitarashi sauce itself does actually quite taste like mitarashi sauce. A little soy saucy, syrupy in texture, and, the, and salty. But together I don't really care for the taste nor the texture. Um, that was gross. The other horirakita kits tend to be very simple as well. But I find that the flavor of the chew itself or the syrups are much more surprising and dynamic. A little bit more sour or a little bit more just fruity. This just tastes overly sweet and the mitarashi sauce doesn't really work so much for here. When you're eating real dango, I feel like the real fun part of dango is the texture. It's chewy and not that sweet. And sometimes it's grilled, so you have that grilled flavor. And this doesn't do it. But again, this is just a candy. So, yeah. So that's Hora de Kita Mitarashi Dango. I ordered this on the internet, actually. You can find it on eBay, or there's lots of other Japanese candy sites that you can find this as well. Or you can also find this at a Japanese market. I'm sure if you have a really well-stocked one nearby, you can find that there as well. And don't forget to go to audible.com slash emmy and support my channel and get yourself a free book at audible.com. And thanks again, Audible, for supporting my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. And I hope you guys learned something. And I hope you guys enjoy that. And I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. They are liberally coated in a yellow cheese-like powder. They smell cheesy and a little bit kind of mustardy. Look at that. Let's give that a taste. Here we go.
Hmm. Those are good. That means I'm going to the optometrist today to get new contacts. Whee!